feel like I look a little naked in this. I'm wearing a tube top. But hi guys, how are you? I'm so excited about today's video. We're gonna be going over my top five favorite nude lipsticks. I know this is something that you guys have been requesting for a while. It just took me forever to get around to it. I don't really know why. But these are like my five favorites. I keep these in my makeup collection that I use regularly. I think they're the best. I tend to go for more of like brownie, mauve nudes that aren't so beige that they make me look sick or dead. If you guys are more in the medium skin tone range, then you know what I mean. Um, the lighter nudes tend to wash us out and they just don't look as good. So hopefully you guys can find at least one that you're interested in in this video. Um, before we get into it, I would love it if you guys would subscribe to my channel just so you can stay updated whenever I upload my next video for you and if you guys would come follow me on Instagram too that would be amazing because I'm always on Instagram whenever I'm not here on my channel making videos for you guys um, we can just get into the video now <laughs> All right, first one that I want to talk about is one that I have loved for many, many years. If you guys have been watching my channel for years and you know that I've been obsessed with this for so long, it is Brazilian Tan from Revlon. It is the most beautiful, more so like a golden undertoned brown. It has a beautiful, creamy, not glossy, but just like a nice, light reflecting, creamy finish to it. It's very rich and hydrating. I think I have like three tubes of this on hand at all time. I love this so much. I think it's so complimentary to my skin tone year round when I'm a little bit more pale and when I'm a little bit more bronzed. I just, it works with every look. It's a great lip color. One of my all time standbys. I think I've been using this since I was like 17 or 18. Like this is my go-to nude. I always have it. I love it so much. It is such a beautiful color. And I really like how it's, you know, rich and moisturizing. It's not drying at all, so love that. <laughs> okay, so moving on to one of my newer favorites. This is from Too Faced. It's in the shade Sex on the Peach. Now, the smell of these Too Faced lipsticks, they are absolutely, like, decadent, flat out addicting. They smell so good. They're very rich, very creamy, lots of pigment. They just glide over the lips so beautifully. And I love this shade. It's more of a, you know, thicker, opaque consistency. So you can sheer it out with a balm or a gloss. Um, but there's so much coverage in these. They're really great. Um, but the smell, guys, the smell is addicting. I mean, the shade's amazing. Obviously, it's in my top five, but the smell is so good. <laughs> Another one of my favorites is from Marc Jacobs. So this is in the shade J'adore. And this is more of a mid-toned, deeper nude, but it has a really nice kind of like bronzed red undertone to it. And I'm gonna just be honest, I'm 100% guilty of buying this because it's the one that Emily Ratajkowski was using in her Vogue Get Ready With Me. And I was absolutely obsessed. And Emily Ratajkowski, you know, she's got brown hair, brown eyes. I was like, if it looks good on her, hopefully it'll look good on me. And it's one of my favorites. Now this one is a little bit more matte. So I do like to pair it with a balm just because matte lipsticks do tend to be a little bit drying if you don't have a balm or a gloss on top of them. But this is just such a beautiful one. So if you have, you know, brown hair, brown eyes, I'm sure it looks good on any hair and eye color, but this one, I've really been in love with and honestly when I'm in a pinch I will use this on my cheeks and on my eyelids as well and I just think it creates a really pretty soft monochromatic look as well. Next up we have again this is a little bit of a newer favorite but I love it. Um, it's a call it out from All May. Now this is part of their lip vibes collection. Obviously the packaging is really cute. It's actually cardboard and the thing that I liked about these All May ones is you can see the lipstick bullet from the top. So you get a little bit more of an idea of what the shade is actually gonna look like, um, you know, cause they do have the shade on the cardboard as well, but I don't know, I just liked that. This is a really beautiful, creamy milk chocolate nude. Um, it again is a little bit more uh, glossy of a finish, which I really like. I just think that makes the nude lips look a lot more healthy and hydrated than something that's completely matte. Um, what I really like about this is that it has buildable coverage. So one swipe is quite sheer and then you can really build it up to get more opaque. Um, it's very nutri, nutri, what am I trying to say? It's very nourishing feeling on the lips and it's not drying. Um, it's a very comfortable, 
kind of glossy creamy finish that I really enjoy and I just really like the tone because it's that really beautiful like rich milk chocolate nude. Last favorite is another longtime favorite of mine. Again if you guys have been watching me I'm sure this is no surprise to you. I go through the pencils of this like crazy. This is Max Whirl. Now this one is to me like a true mauve nude. It's quite deep um, so if I'm more fair I feel like it looks a little bit more like a bold color whereas when I'm more tan it's more of like a true um, brown mauve nude. Now this one is matte so I do like to pair it with a balm or a gloss. Um, because it's matte though it does last a lot longer which is really nice but this is just such a beautiful shade. I love the lip pencil as well. I've gone through probably like two or three tubes of this at this point. I always repurchase when I use it up because I love it so much. Um, the other thing that I think is really unique about MAC World lipstick is that even though it's matte, it seems to have the tiniest bit of pearl essence to it. So it always looks very, you know, lifelike and healthy on the lips despite being a matte color. Um, and the MAC mattes, I will say, they are much more comfortable on your lips than a liquid matte lipstick. So uh, don't be afraid of matte lipsticks because the MAC ones are still really quite balmy and they, they're a comfortable matte wear. So yeah, MAC Whirl. It's one of my all-time favorites. All right, so those are my current top five favorite nude lipsticks. I really hope you guys found the swatches helpful. If you have any questions regarding any of these lipsticks, please feel free to hit me up in the comments down below. You guys know I always do my best to get back to every single one of you. Um, I'll have them linked and listed in the description box. And I'm also thinking about doing top five favorite nude lip glosses because I love a good nude lip gloss as well. If there's any other like top five favorite lip color that you guys want to see, I did a red one last summer. Um, I could redo that. I'm also thinking about doing oranges because oranges are kind of tricky when you're more like medium skin tone. So if that's something you guys would want to see, please leave a comment down below. Let me know. Um, please be sure to subscribe if you didn't earlier. And I would love it if you guys would come follow me on Instagram if you didn't earlier as well. Otherwise, just leave a comment down below to talk to me because I love chatting with you guys. And uh, I guess I'll see you in my next video. So thank you so much for watching this one, guys. I will, I was gonna say I will see you in my next video, but I already said that, so bye guys. <laughs>